Corey out of De Quincey. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrea Robinson. An early morning fire claimed the lives of an elderly woman and several animals. KPLC's Jade Morrow has the latest on the investigation. This is what's left of a deadly fire. Firefighters received the call just before 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. Chief Todd Parker with the Ward 6 Fire Department says firefighters arrived on scene within five minutes. The home was already engulfed in flames. The house was fully involved with fire. Uh, we were notified that there was an occupant in the house and search and rescue efforts began. One woman died along with one cat and three dogs. Parker says another person was able to escape with minor injuries. It took several hours to completely extinguish the fire. Ward 6 had multiple other fire agencies aiding their efforts. Once the fire was out, uh, we had some heavy equipment come in to help us uh, do recovery and overhaul operations. The investigation has been turned over to the state fire marshal's office. So far, investigators believe the fire started in the living room, but they say it does not seem suspicious. There have been 14 fatal fires across the state, not even two months into 2023. Parker stresses the importance of having working fire detectors in your home. Smoke detectors do save lives. Uh, reach out to your local fire department. They may have smoke detectors they could come or you can buy smoke detectors at Walmart, wherever. Just make sure you have working smoke detectors in your house. In De Quincey, Jade Morrow, 7 News. No word yet of a possible cause or identification on the victim.